The overall goal of this experiment is to stall a replication fork at a nucleoprotein block and observe the DNA structures at the site of the block for the purpose of studying DNA repair pathways. This method can help answer key questions about DNA replication and repair, such as how the DNA is processed when the cell's replication apparatus encounters a protein roadblock. The main advantage of this technique is that we can reversibly stall a replication fork at a specific location on the chromosome across an entire population of living cells. Demonstrating this procedure will be the following members of my laboratory, Dr. Carla Metric and the graduate students Georgia Weaver and Taylor Ann Coracher. An E. coli strain carrying a tetracycline operator array and the PKM1 plasmid is used for this procedure. PKM1 encodes for TETRYFP, an inducible yellow fluorescent protein tagged tetracycline repressor protein. Dilute a fresh overnight culture of this E. coli strain to an optical density at 600 nanometers of 0.01 in a dilute complex medium with antibiotics as required for selection. Grow the culture at 30 degrees Celsius with shaking to an optical density at 600 nanometers of 0.05 to 0.1. Remove a 10 milliliter sample to serve as the uninduced control. Add 0.1% arabinose to the remaining culture to induce the production of TETRYFP from PKM1. Continue to grow both the uninduced and induced cultures at 30 degrees Celsius with shaking. After one hour, check for the presence of...